What's up, everybody? Today we're talking about spicy sweet passion fruit sauce from Peas K. Ya. Spicy sweet passion fruit sauce from Peas K. Ya. All right, I think I said that right, but. I'm glad you said it, not me. I would have butchered it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, first time with this brand. First time, uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, they just made it on Hot Ones, which is what got our attention. Uh, sauce three on this season, and well, also the passion fruit got my attention. That, you, you don't see that a whole lot in hot sauce. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely excited for this one. Uh, New brand, passion fruit. Yeah. Um, I guess, guys, ingredient list on this one is passion fruit, chili pepper, carrot, lemon juice, garlic, organic sugar, and kosher salt. Question is what kind of chili pepper? Yeah. Don't know. But at least they got the carrot in there. Carrot. Carrot yeah. and passion fruit. All right. And lemon juice. It's kind of like a whole spectrum of flavors in here, so yeah, and garlic. So I don't know about the heat, but I feel like flavor is going to be pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, all right, well, let's get into this. You said they're out of Brooklyn, but the owners from where? The Dominican Republic. All right, and so I'm expecting this to be kind of like a Caribbean flavor, then. I think so. Yeah. All right. And there was, this is the first time, obviously, that we've done one of her sauces, or even first time I've heard of the company, but uh, she's got she's got other sauces and barbecue sauces and rubs and all kinds of stuff. So wow. The website actually, upon first glance, was impressive. Yeah. Got a good, good smell to it. There's some good chunks in there. All right. That's some pretty good consistency right there. I like that. I really like her, her label. It's very uh, it's cool. The color cool artwork, colorful and vibrant, kind of like your shirt. Yeah. Shrimp ramen. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. All right. That is a punch of flavor right in the mouth. Yeah. Decent heat too. It's not, yeah. It's not, it's not as mild as I thought it was going to be. Kind of hits you with a little bit of heat right off the bat. And then I feel like that passion fruit, carrot, lemon, garlic combo kicks in with the ball of flavor. That was some balance. Um, that's really good. And the, the texture is really nice too. There's like some little chunks of, I, I assume that's the carrot. Maybe it's a little chunks of passion fruit, but yeah. uh, definitely some chunks of carrot, I would say in there. But uh, it's a very, oh, I don't even know how you describe that uh, consistency. It almost reminds me of like a, uh, like a sweet and sour sauce consistency, like almost a little, like a yeah. little molassesy, right? Um, yeah. Something like that. But um, let's go back in here. No, wait, no, wait for it. Very good. Um, definitely kind of hits you with some heat and then you get that. I feel like you kind of get some heat and then some sweet and then another little wave of heat. Yeah. Um, That's really good, really well balanced. This is gonna sound bizarre, but you know what I wanna eat that on? I, I can't place what I'm gonna put it on, so you tell me. I'm gonna go ahead and say Sloppy Joe. Ah, okay. I can see that. It kind of has a vibe going on where, like, just to make Sloppy Joe mix a little more. 
Mm -hmm. Spicy, flavorful. Okay. I can see I that. Think that's, I think that's it. Um, the, man, that, that texture and that passion fruit um, kind of reminds me, um, I, the first thing that I was thinking on this, um, my stepdad occasionally uh, makes enchiladas, but uh, they're like vegetarian, so they'll use like jackfruit inside. Oh yeah, I could see And that like I could really see good. like this almost gave me a little bit of that jackfruit vibe. I think it's from the passion fruit, maybe it's just the texture, but yeah. like if you use that to spice up like cuz this sauce is a vegan sauce, uh, you know. If I you was, use this to like spice up like a vegan enchilada or something like that, I think that could be a really good. I was actually too. also thinking like this would be really good on pulled pork. Uh -huh. And then like, you know, jackfruit's one of those things that you can I use as a it. vegan substitute for pulled pork and yeah that would be really good with that so hell yeah um man this is pretty killer uh did you have a look or did these guys have many other sauces i think there was two or three other hot sauces two but like i said then there was okay. some barbecue sauce some rubs okay i think i might have to visit that website and check it out hell yeah definitely pretty tasty stuff um excited to have a a new uh a new brand on the show um, to try out. Always excited to uh, see what new offerings are out there. Also nice of Hot Ones to give a new brand a chance. Hell yeah. They, like, they recycle so often. Yeah. They gotta... I, I wonder if it helps them being from, from Brooklyn right there by Heat Nest. Probably, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah. All natural, vegan, gluten free, low sodium, real fruit, no preservatives. Seems like they're really, they're really uh, trying on that health and quality ingredient stuff. So. I think this would be really good with cocktails too. Ooh, okay. Yeah. What, what type of a cocktail are you thinking there? I don't know, maybe like a. Mai Tai or a daiquiri or. Okay. All right. Something Caribbean-ish. Yeah. yeah. Something something that already has a little bit of sweet, but you want to add some some frozen beef. daiquiris and just throw some of that <laughs> in there, you know? <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, um, guys, thanks for checking this one out. If you guys have had this sauce, please comment down below. Let us know what you're putting it on because uh, we're always looking for some ideas. And, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And thanks for checking this one out. Till next time, keep up the heat.